my dog's doing? Milton, come sit down. Milton, Diddy, what are you doing? Are you eating something on the floor? What are y'all doing? Just huddling up. What are y'all doing? Somebody come to me. Oh, good boy, Diddy. Milton, Madeline, sit. Madeline, sit. Y'all are garbage dogs. Morning, guys. It is early in the morning. And as you can see, there's only 33 minutes left on my dehydrator. I have been dehydrating some almonds. I'm going to go ahead and show them to you. Just real quick. Oh, man. Oh, man. I have been dehydrating some almonds since yesterday. This is a labor of love. So it's been 24 hours and I got 30 minutes left. I cannot wait to show you. Like, this was my first time ever soaking and dehydrating almonds. And I cannot wait to see how they come out. Okay guys, it is time to exercise, but before I exercise, it's time for my electrolytes. I'm gonna be having key nutrients again, only cause I gotta use the stuff you guys like. You know, I love Zip Fizz, but it's like, when I have other stuff, I wanna work my way through it cause it can't just be sitting there forever. So I'm gonna have the key nutrients, blueberry raspberry, it's the only flavor I have, and I really like it. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. <laughs> to having an excellent day, an excellent workout, and to a week of dairy-free keto. Ah, that's a lot, that's a lot. stuff is it's just good it's it is good start on meal prep today because I got to bake some stuff in the oven for a while uh, so this week I'm doing dairy-free keto which is gonna be really tough because I love my cheese my butter my sour cream my heavy whipping cream like that is gonna be such an adjustment so this week I'm having bacon barbecue burgers barbecue bacon burgers they're not cheeseburgers they're just regular burgers but I decided to treat myself since I'm not having cheese I'm going to have them on buns so I'd like to thank the people at Keto Bakes for sending me these best ever sandwich buns. Like, I cannot wait to make them and try them out and to have them with my barbecue bacon burgers. So, what you need in order to make these is a cup of egg whites, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and a cup of water. So, you guys, the good thing that I like about this recipe is they were like a cup of egg whites and they literally just showed a carton. So I was like, I'm not taking my time to separate no eggs. So there's... <laughs> They're just like, get, just get you a carton of egg white. So I'm going to pour in all of the wet ingredients and then you just dump the dry on top and mix it until it's blended. And then you let it sit for five minutes to let urethane react together. So let me turn this thing on for you. 16 divided by three. Oh, this turned oh down. my God. It's turned on already. No. It looks really sharp. I like this. No, get out of there. Uh. Okay guys, so I mixed it all together and the instructions said that it would have a porridge-like consistency at first and they are correct. I mean, this looks like a huge bowl of oatmeal and it's taking everything in me not to just add some, you know, brown sugar and butter and just go ahead and eat that up. But apparently when you let it sit for five minutes, it will thicken into something that we can like spoon out into rolls. So I'm gonna let it rest, but overall that was super easy. Okay, it's been five minutes, so I'm going to portion this out into eight buns and like pop them in the oven. They go in the oven at 350 for like 55 minutes. I'm excited, I'm just excited. Whoa, it thickened up so much. Look at that. 
Wow, that's crazy. It does still look like oatmeal. I want oatmeal. I'm trying to mark it into eight sections. They're still a little damp. You gonna try my damp nuts? My grandmother just called me. She said, are you on your TV show? I said, no, man. I said, no, I said, at 9.30. <laughs> I was like, there's no point in even trying to correct her. Doesn't matter. Well, here, now just adjust it, because you're not, I have a lot of the computer anyway, so it needs to be more you. There you go. They, they need to see you. You're so handsome. Dana said, oh, Richard, I love your shirt. Where did you get it? What does that say? Paris? Paris? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just like Paris, like the city in France. Oh my god, did you know somebody went to Paris? Uh, I could have just mailed randomly by a stranger. He always be pretending like a stranger <laughs> randomly mails him this shirt. He is the you worst. Did you know you bought this when you were on your Paris trip? Yes, I did. Oh, oh my, my god. I'm eating these almonds because they're in my plan. They are a little damp still. The rest of the almonds are still in the dehydrator. I'm proud for like my first venture out into soaking and dehydrating almonds, but I think I'm gonna increase the temperature next time as well. And then I think now that I have the dehydrator racks, it should be better, but I've never had damp almonds until, <laughs> until this experiment. <laughs> and you can definitely tell the difference. I would have never thought, but I'm eating these. These are good. The buns are in the oven and I'm about to make my coffee. So that's exciting too. The buns came out. They're definitely flat, which I anticipated them to be, but they actually look and smell really, really good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna cut that lengthwise <laughs> and put me a hamburger in between that. You know what I'm saying? So, mmm, that smells really good. I'm excited. 55 minutes on the dot. We did have to cover them 20 with 20 minutes to go because they were browning a lot, but those turned out great. So far, so good. All you gotta do is just pour some stuff in a bowl and then scoop it out and put it in the oven. Like, this is exciting. And the ingredients are just really, really good. I think that's what I like the most. Because, yes, you can buy a pre-made hamburger bun on the interwebs, of course. But, like, these ingredients are just really good. Mm, oh, my gosh. I just want to, like, spread some butter on this and eat it right now. But that's not what we're here for. So, I'm just going to set them down and let them cool. And then I'll check back in. dairy-free bulletproof coffee it is some coffee with a cup of chocolate almond milk and a third of a cup of that coconut milk and some sweetener and I think that's about it oh forget the most important part okay my preferred keto chocolate collagen don't forget you can get 10% off if you use the code WAC10 on their website this is my absolute favorite and one of the things I was most concerned about when I was going dairy-free this week, I was like, is collagen dairy-free? Like, I was looking on here, reading through the ingredients, like, oh my god, I have to be able to have this in my coffee. And luckily, I am. So let's give it a taste. First of all, the coffee looks just thick and creamy and delicious, similar to as it does with the heavy cream. Mmm. 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 That tastes great. So it's almost indistinguishable from the cream. There is a hint of coconut, which I don't mind at all. I was really more going for the creaminess, and that's what the coconut milk provides. So, like, I absolutely love this. I can't. You have to do it. I can't. You have Where to do it. it? Ooh. You want me to kill it? Yeah, I want you to kill it. Okay. Well, you want to watch it then? No, I don't want to watch. 
Oh my god, Where'd here, see it, let me just run out. Oh, don't move the chair, don't scurry! Okay, hold on, let me just, here, just let me clear a path to the door. I'm just gonna get all my belongings. I'm just gonna clear a path to the door. Ooh, don't make eye contact. Ooh, okay. Oh, you're so gross. <laughs> Come here. Come here, my cutie man. No, I didn't like it. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. Ooh, I got it for you. <laughs>
also dairy free so that was a come up i mixed all the ingredients in the microwave so it was super easy and then i just portioned them out and put them in the freezer so i am mm. oh yes it's chocolatey and it's sweet and it's exactly what i need to finish the day mm. wait what was that only a fat bomb mm -hmm. nice that looks so cool. You bang those in those rubber molds? Mm-hmm. You're so ingenious. You don't want to bite, do you? No, it's okay. Okay, good. Yes, okay. I didn't want to give it one time. <laughs> okay. Mm, so I'm just going to enjoy this. I am going to drink some water, mm -hmm. even though that's not really the challenge anymore. I did find that drinking water just helped overall, you know? So maybe I'm not going to do a gallon a day, but I'll do more than I have been doing. So I'm going to enjoy these and... Mm, That'll be it. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, today's a good day. Today is a good day. Mm. Okay, guys. My husband is in the living room, asleep in his chair, watching football. And I want to see if I can catch him, okay? He's a really light sleeper, so hopefully he doesn't wake up. I got him. Richard. Richard. Richard, see, and he says he don't fall asleep. See, and he says he's awake. You've been asleep for so long, baby. Night, night, go back to sleep. I love you. I just wanted to get you. You are not resting your eyes. I called your name for 17 minutes. I have it on videotape. It was 17 minutes. I was calling your name. Oh, Didi, here's a good boy. He's a good boy, Didi. He is not. He is actively looking away from me. DJ. Kind of mommy. Hop in your dad's lap. Yep, there it is. Oh, he's so cute. He thinks you have food. He is smelling your pockets or something. Yeah, do you have snacks in your pocket? Wow. Uh oh, is that a snack? Is that a treat? No? Okay. Okay, guys. Overall, today was a great day. Like, so many new things I tried and they were all hits. Yes. First of all, my almonds are amazing. I'm so happy that I soaked them and like used the dehydrator mm -hmm. in the foodie. Second of all, I cannot talk enough about those buns. Oh, like, I wasn't they able were to get so good. They looked amazing. And you're not going to be able to get any, okay? They are all gonna get used with my meal prep. It was amazing. Also, I skipped over, but equally good, the coconut cream for yes, my coffee. Yes. I mean, I love these challenges because it just constantly forces me to, you know, just see what I'm made yeah, of and see what I can do. Exactly. And I'm so pleased mm. with how I've been able to like make the most of them, you know? So Dairy Free Week is like, is looking up. Like I really was just like crap shooting the whole thing. Like, oh I don't gosh. know, maybe this will work. <laughs> Everyone that is, you know, that is giving up something this week, tell me what it is. Let me know in the comments down below. But like, we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Today was a great it day. Really was. And we'll see you next week. Yep. Bye. Jennifer's to here to say good morning, uh, Autumn Richard Wack and Wark fam from sunny Florida. I have you yeah. on my TV today. Oh my gosh, we're TV stars. Hello, everyone. Oh I'm on a large television. <laughs> oh, Diddy Buds. Oh, Diddy. Here's a good boy. He's a good boy, Diddy. He is not, he is actively looking away from me. Let me use the rack focus back to you. Wait, three, two. Whatever the music moves me. If y'all saw me on Facebook yesterday, I was getting my entire oh, live. Okay, you're the computer. Oh my god, I looked at it. Oh no, I, oh, I oh my god. Okay, I'll hang up. I'll hang up with you. <laughs> I'm just gonna get all my belongings. I'm just gonna clear a path to the door. <laughs> Yeah.